all that's left of this home. The foundation, everything just burned to the ground, but the family of eight made it out alive and they say it's because they had a safety plan. Our Kelsey Gibbs learned they hope their story encourages other families to do the same. Um, the whole porch was completely in flames. He realized there was nothing he could do. Nothing is left of the Flake family home in Montgomery County. We grabbed the kids and bolted across the street. Um, as soon as we got across the street, there was an explosion. Chelsea Flake says a heat lamp on the back porch for the baby chicks got tipped over during the night, sending the home up in flames. Flake says all she and her husband could think about was getting their six boys out safely. I saw just straight fire across the porch. It was uh, very, very scary. I woke up and Dad was screaming fire and I looked at the front porch and there was a giant flame on the porch. Flake says she believes a fire safety plan helped get them out alive. We have plans in place for everything. Um, so our fire drill was one that at, at the time I didn't have my youngest son. Um, I just had the five and so um, what we taught them was that the older two grabs the youngest two and the middle one just worried about himself getting out the door. The goal was to get out and run to the pear tree. It always was the pear tree. The pear tree is our main focus. And so um, we would practice. There was a few times where mom would yell fire and we did run out the front door to the pear tree. And they did pretty good, but they thought I was silly in doing that. This drill became a lifesaver on August 23rd. Ideally, no, we would never want to have to actually implement it, you know, act on it. But um, we did. and. I do think that that's what kept our family, all eight of us, together that night. They may have lost their home, but they walked away with the most valuable possessions, each other. So looking back, there there's so many blessings, I think, in it and um, being able to have a plan in place for my family. In Montgomery County, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.